Hi, my name is Sylvie. I am a certified health coach and yoga instructor. And today I have a functional mobility workout to share with you. It's yoga inspired as usual. And as all mobility workouts should, it aims at improving your strength, your flexibility and your balance so that you can move freely and with ease throughout the day. We're gonna get started on all four. And as you inhale, open up your collarbone and lift your butt high as you're curving your back. So feel your chest opening and then exhale and press your heart up to your back body. Feel your hands pressing on the mat. Inhale, get back to a neutral spine. Now, you're going to shift your weight to your left hand as you lift your right hand and twist. Switch side. Inhale, lift your left hand. And then breathe here. Bring your hand back down on the mat. Now you're going to lift your knees into plank and feel that same sensation you felt earlier when you were pressing your heart against your back body. So you're really lifting through your hands, through your chest, up towards your back. And you're going to bring your right knee to your left, your right tricep. Lift high, high, high. Keep your foot close to your butt, gaze in front of you and then place your right foot in between your hands and then scissor your feet together to lift yourself into a high lunge. Inhale, raise your arms, you can keep your, your arms straight, you can bend them, but again open your chest, lift your collarbone. And then exhale as you lower your hands back on the outside of your foot. And then lift that right foot back into that plank. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. Exhale your knee up to your armpit. And then place that left foot in between your hands. Inhale into that high lunge. Lift your arms. Lower your hands back to the mat. Lift that foot and then get back into plank. Now we're going to repeat that two times on each side. Bring that right knee to your tricep. Place your right foot in between your hands. Scissor in your legs. Raise into your high lunge. Inhale. Exhale back down. Knee back to your tricep. Back into plank. Repeat that on the other side your foot in between your hands, back into high lunge, inhale, exhale, your knee back to your tricep, high plank, last time on each side, right knee to your right tricep, right foot in between your hands, into high lunge, inhale, exhale, lower into your plank, Last time on the other side, left knee to left tricep, left foot in between your hands, scissoring your legs, raise yourself into your high lunge. Lower into your plank and let's take a moment in down dog. 
Now we're going to do another functional mobility combination that you can do in high plank or forearm plank depends on your flexibility. So I'm gonna start by showing you in high plank. And so you're going to shift your weight to your high plank as you inhale. And then you're going to bring your right knee to your right tricep. And then this time, place your right foot on the outside of your right hand. This is your lizard lunge. You can stay like this or use a block and bring your forearms on the block or bring your forearms on your mat. And as you stay here for a few breaths, you can again focus on pressing your forearms on the mat and pressing your chest out through your arms to open your chest. When you work on your mobility, it's really important to work on increasing your flexibility. When I started yoga, I thought mobility was boring, I couldn't do anything, and it's because I was lacking the flexibility. And so sometimes you may find that working on separate flexibility routines really helps. Um, but holding your flexibility poses for at least 30 seconds, a minute, even better, is helpful. Now, you're going to lift your, your right foot off the mat to get into your forearm plank. So really engage that left leg to get back into plank. And we're going to do that on the left side. Bring that left knee to your left tricep and then place your foot beside your arms to get into your lizard lunge. Now again, you're going to get back in onto your forearm plank. Lift that left foot off the mat, back into plank. And now slowly lower your hips into Sphinx pose. Broaden your collarbone, open your chest, draw your shoulder blades back and down. You don't want to neglect working on your spine when you train for mobility because your back strength and flexibility is super important to improve the way you can move throughout your daily life. Now you're going to lower your face towards the mat and clasp your hands behind your back. Keep your elbows slightly bent and Lift your chest as you inhale. And then also lift your feet. You can release. Back into Sphinx. We're going to repeat, lower your head, clasp your hand behind your back, and then squeeze your shoulder blades together as you open your chest, inhale, lift everything. Now we're gonna breathe here, and every time you inhale, see if you can lift higher. Release, but this time put your hands under your armpits. See if you can lift in Chaturanga. So as you press through your hands, lift your hips. Gaze slightly in front of you. And then lift into plank. Get into down dog. And we're going to keep your knees bent slightly. If that helps keep your form, 
because you want to make sure you're keeping your butt nice and wide and high but then you're going to lower your forearms on the mat to get your dolphin pose keep pressing your hands forward keep pressing your chest towards your thighs engage your shoulders lift through your shoulders we're gonna lift and lower five times we did one and then lift back in down dog lower in dolphin that's two three four last time I'm gonna stay here for a moment to practice your forearm and strengthen your shoulders. I want you to keep pressing your chest towards your thighs, lifting through your shoulders. Don't just collapse. Lift through the shoulders. And then back in down dog. Sweep your right leg up. Engage your right leg, keep it strong and high, and then bring your right knee to your right tricep and place your right foot beside your right hand. This time you're gonna get into that low lunge, so you're lowering your left knee and we're going to stretch into your left hip flexor for a little bit. Next, lift your left knee and shift your weight onto your right foot. As you lift your left foot off the mat, beside your right foot, and then we're gonna get in your forward fold. You wanna stretch here for a moment before we get ready. For the last functional mobility exercise that I wanted to include in today's routine. Inhale into chair. Sink your butt. Breathe. And then Lift yourself into tree pose. Shift your weight to your left foot. As you lift your right foot, hold your right foot with your hands and then see if you can straighten and lower your chest as close to your right thigh as you can. If you lose your balance, it's okay. I'm gonna get back into the pose. See how, how much longer I can hold it. Now you can release back in your forward fold. Jump into down dog. Sweep your left leg up. Really feel that left leg engage. Left knee to left tricep. And then place your left foot beside your left hand. Lower your right knee. Let's stretch here for a moment. Now lift that right knee and 
bring your right foot in front to get back in forward fold. This time try to get a bit deeper in your forward fold. I know that when I was just starting my yoga journey, um, I had to work on all the basics like the forward fold, pyramid, half splits every single day and hold those for like at least a minute. Um, now it's definitely not as important because I'm, I'm a lot more flexible but if you need more help with your flexibility, I, I do have a flexibility program and I'll leave the link in the description below. Let's just lift into chair pose. So sink your butt as you inhale and then exhale. Inhale into tree pose. Now shift your weight on your right foot as you lift your left foot and grab it. Straighten your left leg and see how long you can balance here and also see how close to your thigh you can bring your chest. Release. And then sit in your yogi squat. I hope you enjoyed this functional mobility routine as much as I did. Thank you for watching and see you next week.